the ring. Postel gets it's a little bit uncomfortable. He's trying to be patient. He's not moving his head too much right now, but he needs to get his jab working. Whether you throw the jab to the head, I would prefer it down to the chest or the body of Postel. Just taking a breather. I think he can land a big shot. Short chopping right hand. And backs him up with a jab of his own. But the right hand, he wants to see straight as an arrow. Effective, but I told Ron, he, at that distance, you've got to use your head to the body. And just moments ago, we saw him try to had the 12-round unanimous title fights that they would meet up. Second undisputed. Fellas, Postal wants to win this, but the reality is, even if he loses this fight, he lives to fight somewhat of a victory for a king on Postal. Cut the ring off, dig down to the body, punch raging a former champion to fight like a... Dre, you gotta be kidding me. You saying that Postol's not winning this fight right now? Are you kidding me? He's out, clearly outboxing Ramirez. He's hit Mar Mar uh, Ramirez more than... Tim, you Ramirez see my score call, him? right? Oh my goodness, really? Yeah, but I, I, will, I will say this, I will he's say this. Jab. Whenever you have... I respect him. I respect Tim's opinion, but I'm gonna say in surprise with how quickly Ramirez came out in the first four rounds in this fight. I expected him. I expected Postal to, you know, win those early rounds and Ramirez to come on late. And that's again that right hand is available for Ramirez. Oh, short shot. Time. Left hand from the champ. Now he's coming after him. Test. So with that left hand, try pretty well. He took it. Good shot from Post. Seventh round here in Vegas. Beautiful left hand right here from Jose Ramirez. Just letting his hands go. Just listening to Robert Garcia. Great instructions in the corner. You know, if you let your hands go, trust me, something's going to land. But that was a nice short left hook right there underneath the chin of Posto. Posto was trying to get back and worded his back hit. The ropes, he had nowhere to go. Great job closing the distance on Posto and Ramirez landing that lethal shot right there that caused damage and wreaked havoc on Victor Posto. And don't like the punches downstairs. Oh, and there's a left hand. Absolutely have to throw that right. Unified World Championship on the line, and there's another shot by Ramirez as he. That's why I like the way Ramirez came out in, the, in terms of what's going on on the inside. But then he started to allow Postal to have a little bit of win this fight. Things take us through that left hand. Well, you see Ramirez doing what Ramirez does. He pulls forward. He pushes forward. That wasn't, you know, aesthetically pleasing, but that's not who Jose Ramirez is. He's a grinder. And he'll, he'll get inside by any means necessary. See, technically he fell over his feet. He missed a shot. But then he landed the fourth shot and landed the sixth shot. That's just who he is. He'll grind you down. And the question for me is, does he have enough left in the tank with the layoff to grind a guy like Victor Postal down? Side, he's very smart, very cagey. Always was in position. Line up a right hand. Very difficult to do. Let's fight right now get over anxious he leaves his feet once again trying to chase him down trying to cut off the ring got spun around post double Short. You hear the tension in his voice. He said, we need these two rounds. And I believe that Ramirez needs these two rounds. I believe this fight is very, very close. A little bit of loose tape around that left wrist of post -all. I don't understand. Let, he wanted let to breathe. The For his family and his opponents Not know fine. that well. Keep throwing shots, punches in bunches. What can he offer here? with his two world championships on the line. 12th and final round. You know, Tessa Posto is, you know, smart like I think he is. I think it's the Ramirez. Stop. As Freddie Roach is. He had his far. Regardless of what the reason advantage of it tonight. Had a couple good bodies. Lies ahead if he can pull out this win.
Charles is boxing very well this round. He's countering, he's leading, and he's making Jose Ramirez pay for every mistake that he makes. And there's the one-two from Postal, and then touches him with the left hand again. There's the clap. Here's the stretch run. In front. Go. Run. Compare the two tonight. You know, Josh Taylor struggled a little bit, but then he figured it out the second half and took over the fight. This time around with watching Ramirez, Ramirez started kind of early, faded a little bit towards the middle, picked it up on the back end. You know, he was taking a lot of punches, the one, two in particular, straight down the middle, post hole. And that was one thing that Freddie Roach told us, that shot will be available because Ramirez stays right directly in front of you. You know, um, Ramirez also, I thought that he could have did a little bit more. I think that he could have been a little bit more aggressive. You know, Robert Garcia was calling for more offense from him. He delivered in his spots and he did very well. But I wish he would have done it a little bit more in this I fight. I thought Jose Ramirez had a flat performance tonight. He came out really, really sharp, like I said, the first three or four rounds, which was surprising because I expected him to come on late. Post all, looked a little gun shy, didn't look like he wanted to commit. And then, like you said, Timmy started to come on in the mid. Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 rounds here inside the MGM Grand, we go to the judges' scorecards for the official decision. Dave Moretti has the bout. 114-114. Tim Cheatham has the bout. 115-113. Steve Weisfeld has the bout. 116-112. For your winner by majority decision. And still, WBC, WBO, junior welterweight champion of the world, Jose Ramos. And I think those scores detail exactly what Tim and Dre were analyzing all night long.